Hi, I'm Britt Lushensky from Lincoln Southwest. Walk the holy, walk, walk the holy. <laughs> and my poem's called, My Anxiety and My Depression Take the Myers-Briggs Test. The Myers-Briggs test, scientifically proven to define who you are in just four letters. Isn't it amazing how this 20 plus questionnaire can tell me things I didn't even know about myself? But my mental illnesses are so intricately intertwined that now it takes me 20 minutes to finish a simple test when it took everyone else five. And now I'm stuck staring at my computer screen because I don't know where I end and my mental illnesses start. A breakdown of my chemical imbalances are the first things used to describe me, not who I am. ENFP, extroverted, intuitive, feeling, perceptive. These four words don't describe the 80-page war epic that is going on inside me. But unlike Odysseus, I am no hero. Are you often outgoing to strangers? Well, I can't attach a 500-word essay on why I constantly crave attention without a little stream of it. I will literally shrivel up and die. But I have crippling social anxiety causing me to act like an introvert. It feels like I'm an animal confined to a cage that is too small, just begging and pleading to escape. Are you a messy person or a tidy person? Well, I have mental breakdowns if rooms are too cluttered, despite my depression telling me no, that I'm too tired to pick up my shoes and my blankets and my clothes. And I like to be surrounded with what I am. Garbage. <laughs> Do you often run late to appointments? My anxiety forces me to be at least 15 minutes early, despite my depression and overall train wreck self depleting my perception of time, so now I'm just running late with heart palpitations. It's like grabbing a bar of soap and can never just grasp it and flies away from me at a speed of a million miles an hour. These two personalities are constantly competing to take over me, to flood my mind with their thoughts that... There's no room for me. I don't even know what I like. Everything that has made me happy is now just another chore because depression has taken it away and I can't go out and find what, li what I like because anxiety keeps me prisoner in my own home. It's like I'm on house arrest but I am my own parole officer. Are you often envious of others? Yes, because most people don't have to take a personality test multiple times. My anxiety and my depression become two separate entities, and I'm the weird love child of them both. ENFP, extra, neurotic, fantastic person.